No one has questions on the problem set? Gotcha. I'm still confused about what's the difference between the invariant mass and the, uh, the mass of a particle, like a general uh, sense of mass. So you have sometimes seen... It works as kind of mass, but sometimes it's more like a quantity of conservation. So yeah. So let me put it this way. Um, these, let's see. Mm. These two phrases refer to the same thing. Both the, what I call, invariant mass from time to time. And if I simply call something mass, they both mean the same thing. They both refer to the quantity that you are used to referring to with the symbol n. So invariant mass is mass. It's not any different. But the reason I've gotten into habit of saying invariant mass from time to time is because there's this um, outdated concept of relativistic mass. Relativistic mass, which I will never put down on any class material I have, other than to tell you, don't use that phrase. And when, but if you see somebody referring to relativistic mass, then what they mean is gamma times n. It's a kind of a now defunct or out of favor concept that as something increases in speed, its mass increases. No one uses that description anymore because uh, one, it's conceptually confusing to say mass of something is increasing. Um, <laughs> so, um, so no one working with the special relativity today uses that concept. And two, this is really uh, redundant. Because only difference between relativistic mass and relativistic energy is that this thing times, um, times the factor of c squared. So it's, this is different from energy only by a constant factor. And uh, so this is an unnecessary concept. So that's why it's uh, out of date, out of favor. No one uses it anymore. But so that's why it's crossed out. But the truth, truth um, the, well, the historical fact is that this had been in use in the past. So sometimes you will see this being referred to from time to time. I think Gian Colley actually makes, maybe a, makes a reference or to some air. So, to, so whenever somebody says mass, it ought to mean invariant mass. But just in case there's any kind of confusion, if you want to be sure that there is no confusion, you would say invariant mass. But it means the same thing as mass. <laughs>